Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the behavior of high pass RC circuit when a square wave is applied. So here I am just explaining one after another like first I have taken the step input, later we have seen the pulse input, now there is still more extension in the input voltage like step to pulse, pulse to now square. So what is the square wave we already know? It is an, an unsymmetrical waveform here what I have considered at the input of this uh, high pass RC circuit. It is an unsymmetrical square waveform where on period is not equal to off period. Okay. Of course, if you want to make it as on period is equal to off period, then it becomes a symmetrical waveform. That means expressions will be different. Uh, remaining everything will be common. So, when a high pass RC circuit is having this type of waveform. What happens? See, see here. What I, what is the second waveform? This is the first waveform. What the input is applying. Second waveform is also similar to the first waveform, but here the area is shown. Of course, the on period is not equal to off period. But what is the conclusion? Is area occupied by the first waveform uh, positive peak is equal to the area in the negative peak. See this is the area of the positive peak and it is the area of the negative peak both are equal. Both are equal. Okay. Now what happens? See initially there is a sudden change in the input voltage. So the same change will be applied in the output and again capacitor slowly charges. Depending upon the time constant RC whether it is less than less than input signal period or very much greater than the input signal period or it is comparable with the input signal. According to that these three waveforms came into existence. So the first one is you can easily say now as we have seen in the previous case RC is now is it greater than or less than it is very much greater than the input signal period T and it is RC comparable to T and it is RC very very less compared to the input signal period. So as the capacitor takes very long time that's why RC is very greater than T and as the capacitor takes very short time to charge and discharge it is RC less than less than T. It is somewhat in between moderate value. Now again the same calculation part whatever we have done in the case of low pass RC circuit for a square input here also we are going to do the same analysis to get the output voltage equation okay so assume that this is the condition v1 and this is v1 dash and it is the point at v2 and it is v2 dash okay these are the four different instants i have considered to calculate the output voltage equation now so output voltage equation v naught of t v naught of t is equal to 1 by c integral i of t dt plus another one is output voltage v naught of t sorry it is v i of t okay if you take the loop equation v i of t is equal to this voltage plus this voltage this voltage is nothing but output voltage and it is 1 by c integral i dt okay so here it is 1 by c integral what is i of t i of t we can write it in terms of r and v naught it is v naught by r dt plus v naught of t. So that is equal to 1 by rc integral v naught of t dt plus v naught of t again. Okay. Apply differentiation on both sides. Apply differentiation. on both sides then dv naught of t by sorry di dvi of t by dt that is equal to 1 by rc it is v naught of t plus dv naught of t by dt <coughs> okay so later if you apply the laplace transform and applying the in what is that initial conditions then finally you will be having equation like v i of capital T minus v i of 0 that means just uh, what I have done is okay I will do that step also for your convenience okay uh, multiplying by dt nothing but 
integrating integrating the above equation on both sides for a period of what is the period of the square wave form t seconds so integral 0 to t dvi of t by dt is equal to dvi of t by dt is equal to integral 0 to t v naught of t by rc into dt plus integral 0 to t dv naught of t by dt. So, apply integration on both sides then what happens v i of capital T minus v i of 0 is equal to it is 1 by R C integral 0 to T V naught of T D T plus again here also V naught of T this is D T derivation integration cancel and V naught of capital T minus V naught of 0. Okay. So for this particular period 0 to T V naught of T is equal to 0 since the integration represents the area under the output waveform. Here the integration 0 to t v naught of t dt is equal to 0 since, since the integral represents the area under the output waveform over one cycle one cycle means up to t over one cycle we can say that the average level of the steady state is zero because we have seen two areas area one positive peak signal area a1 and negative peak signal area a2 these two are same that's why even if you integrate from 0 to t, 0 to 2 means 0 to t1 and t1 to t2. Nothing but the overall time period is t. Okay. So even if you integrate that one is positive, another one is negative. So if you even if you integrate that, it results in 0 voltage. <coughs> so that's why for uh, listen here clearly for 0 less than t less than t1 okay if you take a waveform like this it is t1 it is t2 0 or otherwise we can say it is t 0 to t here total time period the output is given by v naught 1 is equal to v1 e power minus t by rc because it is an exponentially decreased signal so at t is equal to t1 at t equal to t1 what is the voltage we are we are assuming previously i told you v1 v1 dash v2 v2 dash okay here it goes like this and it goes like this it is v1 it is v1 dash again here in the denominator v2 v2 dash so v01 is equal to v1 dash that is equal to v1 e power minus t1 by rc again for another period t1 less than t less than t1 plus t2 so v not 2 is equal to v2 e power minus t minus t1 by rc yet t is equal to t or we can say at t is equal to t1 plus t2 that is v naught 2 is equal to v v naught 2 is nothing but v2 dash so it is v2 dash is equal to v2 into e power minus it is t1 plus t2 minus t1 so it is t2 t2 by rc 
so also we can write v1 dash minus v2 is equal to v because the this increment this decrement height is nothing but input voltage v1 minus v2 dash is also equal to v the same from these relations what we can compute these four different points like v1 v1 dash v2 v2 dash can be calculated from above relations we can calculate v1 v1 dash v2 v2 dash okay so even if you substitute whatever we have calculated in the low pass rc circuit for the square wave a similar expression here also we will get like this so v1 is equal to v by 2 e power t by 2 rc minus 1 by e power t by 2 rc plus 1 this is true for a symmetrical waveform okay and v2 is also equal to v by 2 integral 1 minus e power minus e power t by 2 rc by 1 plus e power t by 2 rc this is true for symmetrical waveform symmetrical square waveform okay because previously in the beginning of the square waveform we have considered it was a unsymmetrical waveform hope you remember because on period is not equal to off period suppose if we have assumed in such a way that both are uh, the both the period on period and off period are equal then this particular waveform is known as a symmetrical waveform for that case then these values could be like this okay so this is the way to explain the operation of high pass rc circuit when a square waveform is applied now in the next video i will explain how to calculate the expression for the percentage tilt percentage tilt there we have calculated rise time in the low pass rc circuit we have calculated rise time but in the high pass rc circuit we should calculate percentage tilt okay um, uh, how i can say see here for i will write here for low pass rc if you apply a pulse waveform what is the output waveform for the same signal i pass rc circuit how it responds c now if it is low pass rc circuit as the output voltage is across capacitor initially capacitor does not allow any sudden changes so it is zero it is v it is also v okay take this input waveform here also okay now see in the low pass rc circuit capacitor charges like this okay and again discharges towards zero but here what happens the capacitor we are not calculating the output voltage across capacitor capacity is not there in the output so we are calculating the output voltage across resistor so capacitor charges and output de decreases discharges so output decreases like this and again it goes down and again going like this so what is the tilt occurred here what is the amount of tilt occurred here compared to the input signal that we are going to calculate here in the high pass rc circuit in the low pass rc circuit rise time we have calculated how much is the time taken for the signal to charge from 10 percent of the maximum value to 90 percent of the maximum value this is rise time we have calculated so in the low pass rc circuit we have to calculate what is that rise time 
rise time because capacitor charges here. Okay, we are calculating the output voltage also across the capacitor. So that's why we should calculate this parameter. But in the high pass RC circuit, we should calculate percentage tilt. Percentage tilt. So from compared to the input and output waveforms, we are having a change in the deviation in the input signal, output signal from the input signal. This is known as tilt. So what is the percentage of the tilt occurred in the output? We need to calculate when compared to the input. This is done in the high pass RC circuit. Okay, next video I will explain how to calculate the percentage tilt. Thank you.